Elections are colourful in Turkey, and this is how they work. The main body that oversees the whole process is the Supreme Election Council. Since the 1960s, its main responsibility has been to ensure that elections take place under fair, transparent and equal conditions. When the election calendar is set, candidates for both presidential and parliamentary elections are evaluated by the Supreme Election Council. Once approved, campaigning begins. Now to the voting process. All eligible voters receive a letter in the mail detailing where they'll cast their vote, depending on their registered address. Most times, schools are allocated as voting stations. And in this election, voters in some rural areas will cast their votes in city centres. 144,000 voters in 19 districts will be affected by this decision. This measure uh, is a measure for ensuring the electoral security because in southeast of Turkey, uh, PKK, uh, a terrorist organization, is in operation. In previous elections in the region especially, we have experienced that uh, PKK has threatened and uh, put pressure on the voters to vote for the HDP, therefore intervening, in, in, intervening into and preventing the free elections. There are an estimated 180,000 ballot boxes across Turkey and 3,160 overseas. For each ballot, a ballot box committee is established. They're made up of a group of six people, one civil servant, one supervisor and four representatives from each of the main parties. This committee monitors the voting procedure and makes sure that everything runs smoothly. On election day, voters show up at the voting venue, show the poll observers their ID, and both the voter and the observer sign for attendance. This way, the same person cannot vote twice or vote for somebody else. Voters are expected to stamp their choice of presidential and parliamentary candidates. Envelopes are then sealed and placed inside the clear ballot box sitting in front of the observers. Nine hours later, the counting begins. Counting of the votes is made by the president of ballot box committee with the involvement, observance and control of the committee members. So the political parties with their members are involved in every stage of the elections in Turkey. The ballot box committee counts and records the number of used and unused ballots. Invalid votes are recorded and then discarded. All valid votes are tallied, then put in a sack, which is sealed and sent with a supervisor and police escort to the headquarters. The tallies are checked and inputted into a system called the SEC-SIS. This is where pre-selected media and political parties can access the unofficial results. Voters follow the results and once finalised, the Supreme Election Council makes an official announcement of the winner. If any disagreements arise regarding the vote count, candidates and their deputies can object to the results and take it up with Turkey's election councils in the following order. They look into the case and announce a final verdict.